Hi, folks, and welcome to the Activate the Space Digital Signage Podcast. My name is Brad Eisenhower, and I'm going to introduce you to a bunch of new concepts in digital signage. Um, we're finding, I just went to the Global Shop Show, and I wanted to find an idea of doing a podcast. So I walked around the show, saw all the different technologies out there, and tried to find an angle that was unique for digital signage. And I think I found one. I think I'm going to take it from the uh, content producer's point of view. And we're going to go over uh, probably bi-weekly uh, different concepts and different philosophies and different workflows for digital signage and help you as a content producer create new um, revenue streams for your business. So I think it's going to be pretty interesting. We'll be doing news and all types of great stuff. And uh, for this first show, since most of these people doing content are actually working on the Macintosh, I found it very strange that walking around this Global Shop show, they actually have all PC-based solutions. There are like no Mac-based solutions. Everything runs off of Windows PCs, which is so weird because, you know, being in a, a creative technology type of uh, environment, usually use Macintosh computers. And uh, I did find one company. So why don't you check this out? This is a video from the only digital signage Mac-based solution at Global Shop. It's called Sedna. It's by Activate the Space. We actually liked it so much, we actually, uh, we actually are going to distribute this product in the United States. You can go to activatethespace.com. And uh, don't forget, this show is sponsored by Panasonic Ideas for Life. If you're ever doing any type of uh, digital signage applications, um, the Panasonic monitors are a great deal. They're very cost effective, and the picture quality looks great. No matter what you put into that product, it looks amazing. So check it out. Panasonic plasmas for your digital signage needs, Panasonic Ideas for Life, and don't forget, www.activatethespace.com. Okay, now off to Global Shop, let's check it out, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, here we are, Global Shop 2008, I'm out here in the booth, and I can't believe what I've found, I cannot believe it. In a world of PCs gone astray, I've found the Sedna Presenter. I've got to find out what this is. Activate the space booth. Um, it looks like we finally have come to a Mac-based solution for digital signage. I'm with Guido here. Guido, how are you doing? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing great. So, Guido, uh, how's the show been for you this year? Good? Tremendous. tremendous. Really tremendous. So, you're a Mac-only solution. Is this true? I mean, could this possibly be true? Absolutely. It's a Mac-only solution. It's the first Mac solution for digital signage. And it's a complete solution also. A complete solution. Well, tell me more. Let's go around. I'm going to have you give me a demo. Is that cool? Cool. Great. Uh, we're offering a complete digital signage solution for the Mac platform. It's the first one to hit the market. Um, we have a software suite which consists of several parts. Uh, one part is the player, which resides on a Mac, any Mac you choose. Right now, we have a Mac Mini here that's a 599 box, uh, which drives this display. And um, the player does pretty much only one thing. It plays out content that you throw at it and does so very reliably thanks to Mac OS X Unix platform. The second part that we have in our software suite is a uh, graphical user interface of putting together um, your content and schedules and playing them out to the displays. So we figured we need a very simple interface for that and we came up with a solution that we call the iTunes for displays. Uh, take, check it out, take a look at it. So, what we have here um, is a very simple and slick interface. It gives you your assets, your playlists, a schedule, and a calendar when you want to schedule things. So, the way you work with it is very easy and intuitive too. Um, let's say I have some content on my, on my hard drive sitting here. Let's say I want to have that. Double click it to open up QuickTime Player to get a preview. Okay, so here is an HD uh, clip that I want to get into my system. So I'm just using that by drag and drop. It imports it and automatically uploads it to the Mac Mini I just showed you before. Now if I want to use that, I'm just going to create a new playlist for you. I'm going to call it Brad. All right, so Brad's playlist will be populated with my new content. And that's it. Now I can hit play, and if I hit play, it will be playing back on the display up there. Hey, there it is. Wow, that seemed pretty simple. Yeah, so uh, maybe I want to add, add, add a text scroll on the bottom, right? Yep. So let me do that real quick. Let us uh, go back here to presenter, create an asset, text crawl, and I'm going to call this Brad's Crawl. And we can type in some meaningful texture. We can have an RSS feed or whatnot, but I'm just going to do copy and paste here from something that I downloaded from the New York Times. Just going to copy. 
paste in here. I can choose a font, a color. I'm just going to leave it for default right now, slow it down a little bit. And when I'm ready with it, I'm just going to put it on top of my playlist, hit play, and watch. Here's my cool. So we got a news ticker, and that can link to any information on the internet. Definitely, you can just pull down any RSS feed. You just go to your Safari web browser, hit copy and paste in the um, in the field, and uh, just put it into your um, into your asset directory. Great. Wow, this is awesome. What else can you do with this system? Well, we can have full interactive activity with uh, iPhone, for instance. I have my iPhone here. We uh, put together a little application for it. And I'm firing up right now, and I have a button control here. So I might want to have a lower third uh, interaction up there. So if I hit my button three, it will come in, activate the space. Yeah, I can just uh, do some sales. If I, if I want to have an item on sale, I'm just going to hit that button. And there we go. Here comes the sale. All right, and I can do other things like corporate messages. It's really easy to use. I mean, you just create a playlist and you invoke it by the push of a button. Now so how would a retailer utilize a feature like that? Oh, a salesperson could walk up to a screen and uh, he might have some you know, very hot information for the customer that just came in and he can just pull out his phone at the click of a button, just change the picture on the display. That's awesome, man. Thank you. Love it. Great. Anything else? Anything else? Um, well, I'm not sure. I mean, there's tons and tons of feature. Maybe you should check out the web page. You can yeah, where are, we, where are you located? Uh, we're located in Germany, yep. and we're partnering with Activate the Space here. There are U.S. distributors, and we're very happy that we found people who really love the Mac platform. We're going to do that. So um, go to www.sedna-presenter.com and check out what we have to offer. Great. And uh, is it available now? It's going to be available on, the, on July 4th. That's July 4th? <laughs> right. What day is that? That's Independence Day, because that's the day when the digital signage world will be independent of the Windows platform at last. Woohoo! Alright, great. Well, nice to meet you, Guido. Nice to meet you, too. Have a great one. Thank you.